Okay, so what do you do? You've negotiated a deal. You did the contracts. Every, everybody's on a honeymoon, okay? It's a bro fest or whatever. And the next day, you call them up. You get a voicemail. You leave a message. They don't get back to you. You do this the day after and the day after that. Has this ever happened to you? And whose fault is it? And how do we fix it? First of all, when you're speaking to someone and you negotiate them on, on the phone, we call this, uh, my gut sales method is called guts for a reason. You've got to, when you're on that honeymoon and everything's good and you're negotiating that deal, first thing you've got to do is basically deal with the potential that this person's going to disappear or change your mind, uh, change their mind. And you've got to go right for it. Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, Love doing this business with you. Are you comfortable with everything? Uh, can you get me back this contract by 4.30 today? Could you do that for me, please? Because it's going to take me a couple hours to put this all together. Okay, and that's called reciprocity. You tell them how hard you're going to work, what you're going to do. You ask for reciprocity. You also use a little bit of authority um, or, and, and likability and trust and all the other things we talk about. You then go to the prospect, say, um, listen, um, are you comfortable with this decision? Can we meet to, uh, can we, and set up another appointment too, by the way, can we meet again at 4.30 if you have any questions? Let's meet on Zoom or Skype or FaceTime or Google Room or whatever. Um, make sure you get a firm, hard commitment though in that first phone call. Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, um, you're gonna get the agreement back to me today. We're gonna fund and everything else that we promised. Um, you're not gonna, um, are you comfortable with this commitment? You're not going to change your mind. I'm, you're not going to go on witness protection program or, or ghost me, are you? Because if you're going to do that, I'd rather you just do it now. And listen very carefully, because usually they leave clues. There's no bad, there's only, there's no bad prospects. There's only, I, I don't want to use the word my mentor used, uh, it was the S word. It, 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 there's only crummy salespeople because they didn't have the guts to to get this thing written in stone. Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, um, you're not allowed to think about it. You can just say no to me and, um, and that's okay, we're done. I won't waste any time and resources and you can do whatever you want, but your problem still remains. If, are you comfortable with this decision? You're not gonna change your mind. You strike me as people, uh, you strike me as someone who, when you give your word, I can cash that check at any bank. It's an expression my mentor used to use. I love that. You've gotta get that firm, hard, rigid, boilerplate commitment from them. So you're less likely uh, to chase them or they disappear, change their mind. Get that commitment. And if you're hearing those wishy-washy words, you got to listen for that. The maybe, the probably, the should, the could. Um, I, somebody once said to me, Claude, we're going to give this our highest uh, 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 concentration. We're going to really uh, talk about this and everything. But everything sounds great. You're a wonderful guy. We really like the, the way you do business and everything. And uh, we'll get back to you in the near distant future. Mr. Genius here goes back to his car in the parking lot thinking he's got a deal. After driving hours and hours and negotiating and driving home hours and hours and then Call them up on Monday, can't reach them. Chased them for a week, and then they finally got them on the phone, and they weren't as friendly as they were they, um, because they knew I was chasing them, and they said, no, we changed our mind. We did the deal with somebody else. Um, and I, wouldn't you rather find that out in the very beginning? This is Claude Diamond. Nobody deserves success more than you. You got to work smart. We all work hard, okay? But believe me. You don't get to the financial goals that you want, the big money, unless you work hard at this business and you love it, you have passion, but you also got to work very smart and you got to have a lot of guts, chutzpah, unmitigated goal. You've got to ask the questions. You're thinking about them. They're thinking about them. Just remove the filters and just say it. The worst that can happen is you lost the deal, but you didn't waste any millionaire thinking is about protecting your most valuable resources, your time, your knowledge, your energy. If you waste hours and hours on situations that don't have a snowball's chance of, of succeeding because you didn't have the guts to ask the tough questions, then you might as well be a Walmart greeter. Nothing against Walmart greeters. Don't call me. I love you, Walmart greeters. I always talk to you. But you might as well be, what I meant was you might as well be getting a minimum wage job because at least you get a guaranteed income. But if you're just going to waste your time because you're not asking those tough questions, 
Why are we in business? To make money today. And you deserve it. My name is Claude Diamond. Go to my webpage, claudediamond.com. I got a lot of good free stuff there. Mind maps, books, free consultations. I do answer my own phone, 970-281-5151. Or something new. If you want to Zoom me, I, I leave my Zoom on. When, and, and if you want to get me in between appointments, uh, just go to zoomclaude.com. That's it. And you'll go. And if you're familiar with Zoom and you have the app on your phone or or computer, you'll go right into my Zoom room and we can have a chat. You guys take care. Thank you.